Good morning. Welcome back. Today we got a full day of eating low carb. So we're going to do a quick disclaimer, which I don't know why I do these disclaimers because people don't listen to them when they yell at me in the comments, but we're going to say it anyways. Um, just for, to finish out the year due to like the holidays and I just kind of needed a break, like a mental break. We are doing, I'm just going to go ahead and just follow more of a lower carb lifestyle right now. And then after the holidays, I'll pick everything back up just, just to be safe and not be safe. I'm just kind of just needed a break. So that's what we're going to do. But, um, so you'll see, notice that I'm doing a lot more, uh, I'm lowering my fat intake just because I'm not really watching my carbs. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not really watching my carbs as much. So they're going to be higher. Um, I'm not really following any macros. I'm just doing low carb again, keeping it super simple. Um, yeah, so you're going to notice that a lot late for the next few weeks. Okay. So what I'm going to have is I got some Canadian bacon. I'm going to have three slices of this for three slices of 60 calories, one, uh, carb, 10, uh, protein and one and a half fat. So we're going to fry up three pieces of those. I'm going to have 12 tablespoons of egg whites and that's uh let's see that's 20 protein zero carbs and zero fat so we're gonna do that i'm gonna have two pieces of the natural ovens keto friendly bread there's zero net carbs we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna do like an omelet type deal and i'm gonna use this fresh mozzarella and i'm gonna do two ounces of that i believe that is about two carbs so um yeah like i said we're just kind of uh taking it easy. You know, I watched this girl, her name is, I think, Dominique, Dominique A. And she left keto and then went to, I think like a, a blue plan or a green, I don't know. She's on some colored plan for um, Weight Watchers. And I, I didn't want to do that. I'm not like going um, on all different plans and stuff. I'm just, she just said it. She's like, and it, it really like hit home. She's like, I'm just doing it for the flexibility because I really want to, even though like life's crazy and you know, uh, everything's kind of weird now and holidays have been weird. We just want to enjoy them. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So anyways, we're going to jump in. This is going to be our breakfast. We did have our coffee. I used that super creamer. Let me show you guys and my perfect keto cinnamon toast collagen. This is the creamer, super creamer. I love this one, the sweet cream. I tried the French vanilla one that has like a supposed to be a stronger flavoring it was gross um but the macros on this are pretty bomb there's no sugar no carbs two protein and three and a half fat for three tablespoons so um i hadn't been able to find that for a while that's why i was using the international delight but i finally found it so i picked that up and that's what we had in our coffee along with the cinnamon toast um collagen which you guys had asked me about that and i love it i take i think it tastes like a cinnamon toast like it's cinnamony but it's like still has like that toasty flavor so i thought it was really good but anyways i'm gonna start cooking up this breakfast and i'll be back all right so here is my breakfast i have about 12 tablespoons of egg whites and two pieces of toasted keto bread i have a couple of some of the egg whites on there and then three pieces of canadian bacon and what i did um i topped my canadian bacon with that mozzarella and i let it get like melty and hot so it wasn't like cold and kind of stiff it comes out really really good that way it's kind of like a fried cheese obviously and i just have some salt on there and then i'm going to top it with some texas pete's hot sauce and i'm going to have a big old breakfast sandwich so this my friends is what's for breakfast so me and leo went to do some like running around and I stopped and got us some Starbucks while well, I ordered it and ran in and got it but this is what I get I got a venti cold brew with light ice with heavy cream and I put light cream on there um six vanilla six cinnamon dolce look I know that's probably a lot but um I don't like for my coffee to taste like coffee and I do light ice but, but that's what we had so nice little treat I want to show you a couple of the other things so I am going to try my hand at um the hot chocolate bombs is i think what they're called and i ordered the molds which those molds are like a hot commodity like everybody's doing them right now so i couldn't find them in store so i'd order them offline but um i'm going to use the chalk zero chocolate for them but for some of them i wanted to put some like marshmallows in them and stuff which these obviously aren't going to be low carb um just for like i'll probably do just something without them in there but i got these also um these are just some marshmallow trees 
So I got two of those. I got them from Target, and then I got some sprinkles. These are Peppermint Crunch, and I got the Alphabet Sprinkles, and it just says, like, Happy Holidays and stuff in there. So be on the lookout. I'm going to try them out. Hopefully they work out okay. So I picked those up, but I am starving. So let's figure out what's for lunch. All right, so here is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I have some pickles, a couple of these filled, these are what they are, the pepperoncini duos. I got these from Costco yesterday and I've been dying to try them. So I have two of those, some blackberries, and then some of this oven roast or slow roasted turkey breast. I have five pieces right here. And that's gonna be my lunch. It, do, it looks kind of crazy, but it'll be good. It'll be good. So this is gonna be that, pretty excited gonna dive on in these are a little spicy just so you guys know but they're filled with cream cheese and feta which is my jam so and I love like little pickles they're my favorite so this is my lunch super simple but dinner's gonna be good dinner we're gonna do like um I found this uh like low carb a la gratin potato thing that we're gonna make and we're gonna have some ground turkey that I made yesterday so I had it like already prepped so real easy simple and that's it okay so for dinner i'm gonna actually throw this in i got this from trader joe's it's broccoli and cauliflower gratin and i've never tried it but i picked this up and you just gotta throw it in the, into the you could do the microwave but we're gonna do the oven 400 degrees for about a half an hour and i'm gonna show you the macros for one whole cup is six net carbs three grams of sugar seven fats and six protein so um yeah i thought that was pretty decent and it looked good so hopefully it doesn't suck but we're gonna try it out but so into the oven 400 degrees and yeah so you find i seen trader joe's had a lot of low carb options which i thought were nice so i'm gonna try this out broccoli cauliflower gratin so here is the ground turkey this is the butterball um 93% lean ground turkey. I made this yesterday and then I just seasoned it with uh, two packets of, of sesame just to give it a little flavor because you know it could be kind of dry. I'm just going to throw this in the microwave because it was just really easy. I just made sure before I like, brought the rest of the packages downstairs to freeze that I um, just fried up a little pound like one package of it. I think it's I don't even know what the, the pound is what the packages are equivalent of in weight but yeah so I'm gonna heat that up so that's going and then in here we still have the um, cauliflower broccoli al gratin cooking and we're cleaning and Leo's trying to get our phones fixed so it's pretty pretty chaotic but we got about um, eight minutes or so left on the bake here so I wanted to try these as well to go with our dinner. These are some shishito peppers, and I've seen people just fry them up with uh, some olive oil. Well, Leo told me to fry them with olive oil, and you just snack at them. So we're going to try them. Um, I'm just going to throw them in this frying pan, and Leo said just a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to fry them up. I don't know. Have you guys ever tried these? Do you have any, like, recipes to go with them? I don't know. I'm kind of excited. I'm not going to cook the whole pack. Should I cook the whole package? Probably not, right? Yeah. Wait till the oil gets real hot though, right? Yeah. But I don't know. It says a vibrant floral pepper with just a hint of smokiness. So this is what it says on here. I've never tried these. Um, while generally mild, the heat level can vary every once in a while. A pepper is hot. Kicks shishito pepper might be a resistible appetizer, a side dish, or minimal prep as a key highlight to a bright flavor. Simply bluster them in a saute pan over heat with a bit of olive oil or sesame oil. Sprinkle with some salt and eat. Oh, they give us some directions. All right, so, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to just do like a big handful because it's only going to be me and Leo eating them. The kids won't eat them, but I'm excited. Hopefully these are good. All right, so I'm just going to toss in. About that many, no? So we still got about a half a pack left. That's about a good. Or should I do a little bit more? No, it's right is it just to blister them so i don't know and then i think when they're all once they're heated and cooked up then you add the salt yeah a little bit of salt sea salt on yeah so hopefully these are really yummy all right so i guess we gotta wait for these things to start crackle lacking 
you guys could hear, they're starting to blister. I don't want to. They don't smell hot. Mm -mm. Not yet. You never had them? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah, are they like? Really. Are they like? Uh, like what would you compare them to? I don't remember. I remember a long time ago when I had them. When we first got them in that work. Oh really? Yeah. So it just I says. I remember they were good though. I mean, all they served them with some olive oil and salt. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, new things. So yeah, I got these at Trader Joe's. Um, Trader Joe's. Thing is like one in like every four or five in like half. Really? Yeah. Well, let's hope you get those. So, like I said, I went to Trader Joe's because Rhea had requested some things, and I picked up some food items and then some skincare stuff that I've been absolutely loving. Um, but anyways, so I picked these up, and then I wanted to show you the other thing that they had. And go into our little thing here. They have these um, organic radishes trimmed of many colors. So they're all different color radishes. I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't made them yet, but I thought that would be a nice little thing and you have a different variety of colors. So Trader Joe's is a little expensive compared to like Aldi, but they're a lot cheaper than um, like Whole Foods, you know? All right. What are you popping? Oh, here we go, here we go. We got a little blistering, a little blistering. Go ahead and uh, ooh, I'm excited. Oh, ow, got me. All right, so I just turned them off the heat because one of them actually blew up. Um, so I can just let them sit in the pan, and then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna salt them. This is just some um, pink Himalayan salt. Hopefully that was enough. I'm like my girl Laura Vitale over here. Oh, Laura. I think she would be probably, did you see what I was doing? I'm going to drop one of them in the thing. And then I'm going to give them another little soft coat of this pink Himalayan salt. Okay. So those are about done. All right. So how you doing? This is what I'm looking like today. Uh, I'm going to try one of these. So here's that. Probably get a water. All right. Mmm. They're good. They're really, really good. They're not spicy at all. These are deliciously, huh? Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend these. These are. I don't even know what they taste like. Mmm. Like a non-spicy jalapeno, but like smoky. They're really good. Definitely recommend. All right, um, I'm making Leo some of that lean shredded beef, so he can have that for dinner. And then our cauliflower broccoli al gratin is almost done. So, but definitely shishito peppers are going to be a staple for sure. These are delicious. All right, my friends. Here is that broccoli cauliflower al gratin, and it looks really, really good. It looks real cheesy. I'm gonna try to cut through it and then I will show you I also am making like a whole nother I'm making the rest of these shoshito peppers too all right yeah there it is oh it's, it's so good uh yeah I have a right in front of me all right let's let's do this really quickly I'm gonna plate it up and I'll be right back these cauliflower um, broccoli au gratin is freaking delicious what do you think, Lee? It's really good, right? Mm -hmm. This is really good. I think it was like $5 for the little thing, and you get a nice portion. That's one cup. So I weighed that out, and we got five ounces of that ground turkey, and then some more of those shishito peppers because these are everything. We need these. These are awesome. So here you go. This is our dinner. And I'm probably going to wrap up this video because um, we're still trying to get our phones activated. But I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. I know it's not keto, but it's still low carb. And we're just trying to, you know, just get through the holidays and, you know, stay on plan. Stay, just not gain any weight. If I can lose some more, that's even better. But we're just taking it easy. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, friends. Mm -hmm.